What's going on YouTube? Today we're coming back with another video. Homeboy over here trying to break in the car. And um, we're gonna be putting some camera kit and spacers on. Uh, for a lot of you new subscribers, I think in the last month, most of y'all came because of the red, red race car right out there, the Integra. So if this isn't a stancy type of person or a stancy type of you, if you don't like stance cars, then don't watch this video because you probably won't like it. Um, we just got new tires on with a stretch, which is very unfunctional and dangerous for driving. But we're going to be, you know, changing this up a little bit. I've never actually had a stance car or whatever. And uh, we're just going to make it look kind of stupid right now since we got some parts for fairly cheap. Ain't that right? Yeah, he's not approving of it too much. But uh, <laughs> but uh, we're just waiting right now. My boy's going to come by with the lug nut key because uh, we just left the shop where we were at because of some issues. We're actually looking for a bigger shop right now. And we threw everything all into a couple boxes and we have everything thrown in a garage right now. But um, I can't find my lug, the lug key or whatever. He's here? You say he's here? Reshoot that whole sequence. Oh yeah, he is here. Reshoot what sequence? This is raw footage, Poppy. We don't do no takeovers. Yeah, we do sometimes. <laughs> but oh, no, don't hit the car, don't hit the car. We good, we good. You got the key? Oh, oh. oh. Them clean windows. Damn. What's up, bro? You got uh, the key with you? <laughs> Give me that. Magic key. Let's see if it's the right one. It is. All right, so we're gonna get started right now. We're gonna break all the lug nuts loose and then put the car up on stands. Don't use just a jack, use a jack and jack stands. Cuz. Cuz. Because it's safe. Let's do it. Let's show you guys the stretch. So 195, 40. 19 or 17 on a 17 by 9 rim mounted by this guy not a bad stretch had to use some brake cleaner and a lighter to get it to bead <laughs> but uh yeah we got it you know let's just see real quick i want to check out how the spacers are gonna look on here you want to grab this well oh. That's gonna sit nice mm -hmm. with the camera kit. Mm -hmm. A little bit of camera towards the inside. Have it sit right by the lip. Lower in another inch or two. Yeah. Hey, your camera kit. Right. Have you made a massage? No. All right, come here, come here. Let's go do the take the stock <coughs> camera adjustment off or whatever the camera arms. Put this aftermarket stuff on. And your friends is like always the mechanic. The one who take videos and everything, and the guy who do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Funny though, he's the actual mechanic at the shop. <laughs> yeah. We just do this when we're off. But um, all right. So we got three 17 millimeter bolts that we're gonna be using. I think there's a stock bracket that's supposed to be holding this, but previous owners just had it with a zip tie. Um, <laughs> from the looks of it, it looks like a small bolt hole, so it's probably just a 10 millimeter. And if not, you can just run another zip tie. But your two bolts are, are one right here to the left, another one to the right, and then one bolt right here through the top. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Just loosen it right here, the two on that side. These are aftermarket, right? It's got an <laughs> adjustment nut right here, adjustment nut back here. What do you think, dude? It doesn't have like a brand or anything on it, but I'm sure the OEM one doesn't have this type of adjustment. Yeah, it looks aftermarket. It does. So we're just going to lose. Yeah. yeah this whole arm. Like, the camera that kit. looks aftermarket. Yeah. That is a or stock that, that camera stock. kit. That is the, they, they give you the, adju uh, the adjustment for a stock, like by the book say, a stock camera kit. When you go aftermarket, like do a nice camera, like what we want to, we need to put the aftermarket ones. He's the mechanic. Listen to him. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's use these these big old yeah. aftermarket ones then. Sorry guys. So you know what I start doing that stuff now 
Ford, all, all that com big company, so start doing that now. Who made it first? <laughs> JDM! <laughs> it's coming. Okay, hey, Rock. probably gonna follow me, yeah. But if I get hurt, then you guys don't get hurt when you learn from my mistakes. We here at SP2 do not condone the use. There we go. Uh, we have the knife. Knife? Knife. Knife. Knife, eh? There we go. Dang, yeah, that's different. Something we noticed real quick. They look the same pretty much, right? Like this could go either way, whatever. No. We took it out with the bolt facing the back of the car. So this is how it sat, right up there. Then if you look at the bolt holes, one is an oval, one is a circle. So we were gonna put it on a, in like this. That's the correct way. Oval on the left, circle on the right. And I'm sure that comes into account when you do the alignment for the car. That's, if I'm not mistaken, that's probably something with the toe of the rear, or I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out as soon as we take it to alignment one of these days. Um, then another thing I noticed, this is a little bit too small to go over the stock uh, bushing assembly up there, whatever it's called. So we're just gonna open this up just a tad and then it'll slip over and then we'll retighten it when we actually put the bolt in it. But make sure that you do the oval one on the left, just how it came out from the car. What? <laughs> I gotta use a rubber mallet? Yeah, so you don't damage the new parts. Please. So I, I, <laughs> I don't want nothing to crash there. <laughs> I, uh, I put one of the legs into a vise and then I um, just pulled it open a little bit on each side. Yeah, just crash it. <laughs> Shut up. And then you have to kind of hammer it to get it over. This is a cheap camera kit, so if you get a, a good part or whatever, then you probably won't have this you issue. Yeah, the hammer you need, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, dude. You need a bolt. <laughs> like, like, you want the bolt? <laughs> Drop it, hold it, go push it a little bit. There, no, there. There we go, give me the other one. Yeah, close the eyes. <laughs> that is my balance, bro. You got my tongue out? You want the ratchet and wrench? But then we need to pull this one. See, this is the real mechanic. No real mechanic. You know the bolts I break or I cross thread <laughs> with a impact gun? It doesn't go in as a bolt, it goes in as a nail. Yeah, da, 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 da. keep going. That's when you get that different one, the big one. All right, so what we had to do was tighten this one for the most part, the one closest to the front of the car first, so then the back one could line up, and then we started threading in the back one. You got it. <laughs> we got the bolts on. Now we're gonna tighten them. <laughs> Make them nice and tight, couple of ugly uggas. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you're gonna play with this left, extends it, or actually no, turning left on the center makes it more camber, so it the arm moves inwards, and then turning it to the right. So if you want me to do it so you, you can see the rotor going down and up. So oh yeah. You see the difference? Give me a second. Okay, so right there, if we're turning the center piece to the left, counterclockwise, then uh, it cambers out the car. You turn it to the right, and you can see the rotor moving for that. Then you're uncambering it, or putting it positive, so that the wheel goes from inside to straight. If you just wanted to do a camber kit because of uh, wanting your tires to be straight again, after having lowered a car, then this is what you're looking for. 
Or if you're stupid like us and you want a camera in the rear of your car, then you're gonna go to the left. Yep. And so, you buy brand new tires, like that one, and every single week. you see in two months, you need brand new tires again. Yeah. That is still playing the nice car making like us. If you come over here, we've got two nuts, one in the front, one in the back. These you're gonna lock onto the actual centerpiece when, um, <laughs> you're gonna lock them onto the centerpiece after you've done your adjustment 100% and you wanna keep it at that location. So right now we're just gonna keep it nice and loose, put it to where we think it'll be, test fit the tire, then uh, put the load on the, the tire, that way it comes off and everything and we can see exactly how we want it. Torque specs, we know. We're not uh, putting the wheel on finally. Like, just trying to drop it down, so see how it looks. <laughs> Put the car down. Slow reveal. Boom. Oh, don't record me. <laughs> record the Why are you zoomed in all the way? Give me the camera. Oh my god. Let's drop it. Not bad. I think we can go a little bit lower, right? Hell yeah. Maybe like inches? half an inch. Four inch, maybe from stock. Half an inch lower. And then put the camera nice and close. Uh, I might have it around here somewhere. Let's see the other side. Yeah, it's a big difference. That's not the final height or anything because we still have to put them together and make sure that it's even and whatnot. But that's a bit of camera, that's for sure. <laughs> what are you looking for? A ruler? Yeah. I don't know if I have a ruler, maybe a measuring tape. Everything's a mess right now. Woo, you guys waiting on that how to build the block video? My hands are really dirty. I probably shouldn't have done that. But um, on the rest of the... <laughs> <laughs> on the rest of the channel, we'll be, <laughs> we're building that Integra. And I've got everything over here that we were trying to finish tonight, but we probably won't. Well, we're not going to. We'll probably do that tomorrow. He's saying that my wheels are but too small. So even doesn't. though I just got new tires, that I should change my whole setup. Go ahead, tell me more. Uh-huh. Bro, you know what? You want 22s? Check it out. <laughs> Let's get it off the truck. Let's do it. Oh, we got spacers for the truck too, right? We're... Boom. Let's do it. Let's do Plenty of spacers. The Redneck RSX. <laughs> We're just going to bring the camera out just a hair and lower it, up, lower it a little bit more off the coilover. I have the four in one hand, I have the light in the other one. Come on, bro, don't make him walk four feet. I thought the whole point was that two people work and one person does nothing. Well, he's sitting down. You don't steal my job, bro. Yeah, he did. I thought you were doing the size. Hey, Aki, if you're watching, sorry this ain't a fast car video. Shout out to Ghost Boy Aki. If you guys don't know who it is, he's building a badass K-Series Civic Hatch. He already had the version one out. He's on the, the comeback from his street racing days, but he's on drag racing now. So great stuff. I'll do a, a link in the description to his, uh, his YouTube channel that he's making up, Keep Gunning, and his Instagram as well. Yeah. yeah he's going with the, uh, was it four piston engine now? I know, I know it's four pistons, but the company's called Four Piston for all you who don't know. Yeah. They make race car engines and whatnot. So that thing's gonna be nasty. All right, this camera kits out. And just like we were showing before, the oval is towards the rear of the car and the uh, circle is towards the front. Let's match it up with the new camera kit. Ugh. Towards the back. Make sure this one goes over. We open both sides, or both camera arms. Um, comes with new bolts. We just found out, which is kind of common sense, we should have realized. Doing the back two bolts first, the ones that actually attach to the body, it's a lot easier to do if the front is loose. <laughs> so we're gonna put the back two on there nice and snug, and then do the front one. 
probably be a lot easier with the jack. But right there. What's up? All the bad ideas. What are you gonna say? It's a bad idea? Yes. Why is that? That's how it's looking. We're about to lift it up again and finally do the final torque on all of these. She's cambered out. What'd you say, five degrees? Negative five degrees. Negative five degrees on both sides using an app on his phone. You said you want to camber the truck? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna lift this up real quick. Take everything off, make sure everything's torqued, and then put everything back on and lower the front a little bit more. Just got done lowering the front a little bit, but I guess my coilovers are maxed out. Well, we just maxed them out and it's still not as low as we'd like it. So I think extended top hats can help with that. We're probably gonna look into that soon. But yeah, she's, pretty, she's looking pretty good. A lot lower than what she was. The back is the, the big thing that we did today. Camber kit and coil over, or the camber kit and spacers. That definitely cambered us to where we want it. Yeah, I think we're gonna head over to a little local car meet and uh, check that out for today. Oh, there's some fast cars here tonight. Hey, bye. <laughs> 